Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Story for Kids in English. Long ago, in a distant kingdom, a beautiful queen always wished for a beautiful daughter, and she was blessed with one who had skin as white as snow, eyes that were brighter than diamonds, and cherry red lips. The little girl was named Snow White for her beauty. As the years passed, Snow White grew as beautiful as her mother, and before she could reach her prime, her mother grew ill and passed away. The king eventually married another woman who became Snow White's stepmother. The stepmother was a beautiful woman but was also a witch. The witch also had a magical mirror into which she would gaze and ask. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? The mirror faithfully answered. You, queen, are the fairest of them all. Snow White grew as the years passed into a beautiful young girl. By the time she turned 18, there was nobody in the kingdom who was as beautiful as she was. The queen was always jealous of Snow White's beauty and frequently sought reassurance from the mirror on the wall. The day Snow White turned 18, she asked the mirror who the fairest of them all was, and the mirror replied, You, my queen, are fair, it is true, but Snow White is a thousand times fairer than you. She boiled with rage and looked for a huntsman on hearing the truth. The evil stepmother ordered the huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The man obeyed her orders as she was the queen, and took Snow White into the forest without anyone getting to know her. However, when the time came to kill the beautiful girl, he could not do it. Instead, he set her free in the forest and told her to run away and never come back or else the queen would try to kill her again. Snow White thanked him for his kindness and ran away into the wood. After a long day of running away from what could have been a terrible fate, Snow White was sobbing, tired, and hungry. She wandered into the dense forest, scared, until she came across a tiny cottage. She entered the cottage and found that there was no one in it. However, there was food on the dining table, which she gleefully ate as she was starving. She looked around and realized that the cottage was messy and decided to clean it. When she was exhausted, she went to the room and found seven beds. She made the sheets and slept in the bed she felt most comfortable in. In the evening, the seven dwarfs returned home from a long day of work at the mine. Hearing the dwarfs, Snow White woke up from her sleep. The seven dwarfs introduced themselves to her. Snow White introduced herself and told her story. The dwarfs felt bad for the poor girl and allowed her to stay with them in exchange for taking care of the chores and cooking for the dwarfs. Snow White settled with the dwarfs and all were happy. One day, the evil queen asked the mirror, and it gave the same reply that Snow White was the fairest of them all. Realizing that Snow White was still alive, the queen decided to take matters into her own hands. Being a witch, she concocted a potent poison and injected it into a delicious apple. The witch then set off on a search to look for Snow White in the forest. She soon realized the girl's presence when she came across the dwarf cottage. The witch disguised herself as a feeble old woman selling apples in the forest. She knocked on the door, but Snow White didn't open it. She then enticed Snow White by showing her the delicious blood-red apples through the keyhole and told her to try just one. Snow White could not resist and took a bite out of the apple. She fell to the ground soon after the first bite and went into a deep irreversible sleep. The dwarfs came back home to the horror of Snow White lying unconscious on the floor. They placed her in her bed and stood sobbing next to her motionless body. Around the same time, a handsome prince passed through the forest and stops by the cottage of the dwarfs. He was so mesmerized by Snow White's beauty that he leaned in and gave her a gentle kiss. The kiss from true love instantly revived Snow White by breaking the witch's curse. They returned to her kingdom, and after the queen's action was revealed to everyone, 
she was banished from the lands. The handsome prince and Snow White married and lived happily ever after. That is the end of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs story, see you next time.